Welcome back to Living 808. Gateway at Mililani Malka is just that. It's a gateway to the surrounding communities in central Oahu, satisfying the need for a one-stop shopping center for everything from therapy to banking to food with mom-and-pop shops and the go-to quick stops along with the good mix of local and national tenants. It's over 34,000 square foot design, is home to nearly 30 businesses, and today we're focusing on the grinds. Welcome back to Living in Wait and to Hawaii's Kitchen. We're on the road at Gateway at Mililani Malka, and I'm at Taps and Apps with Chris and Chef Mike. Thanks, guys, for having me down. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for My coming pleasure. in. I was really looking forward to digging in, but let's uh, let's talk about the place first. So, Chef, we'll get to you in just a sec. Chris, uh, tell me about Taps and Apps. So, Taps and Apps is a family-owned and operated brew pub located in Mililani Malka. We've been here going on eight years now. Uh, we serve 36 craft beers on tap. Uh, we make fresh food to order, and we also have specialty cocktails available. Okay, we'll talk about the cocktails in just a sec, but the, uh, you guys do something a little different that I've never really heard of. You guys do trivia and events? We do trivia on Tuesdays, which is pretty popular. Um, we got the tournament championship coming up here pretty soon, so people are pretty psyched about that. Uh, we also have karaoke on Thursdays, and we have uh, live music on Fridays. Uh, happy hour Monday through Friday, 3 to 6. And we also do brunch on Saturdays and Sundays till 3 p.m. Tell me about the trivia, please. What, what, what's going on with the trivia? So it's called DJ trivia. And what they do is they play a music song, and sometimes it gives you a hint to the answer and what it is. So, um, yeah, it's four rounds, and uh, whoever has the most points at the end wins gift cards from us. That's really cool. Okay, um, let's talk food. Yes, Chef, sir. Uh, you've got three separate dishes. I'm, I'm assuming that these are the most popular because you have got them out in front of us. But the burger looks delicious. Uh, the burger the burger's very, very popular. We uh, we bring in a chuck flap short rib that's chilled, never frozen, so we grind it fresh daily. You order rare, we're going to serve it to you rare. Uh, brioche buns, local greens, um, and some fresh veggies, uh, house-made garlic aioli, and, uh, and, and some uh, ketchup. The mushroom breed is actually one of our highest sellers and has zero protein. It's literally a vegetarian dish, but it's super delicious and super rich. Okay, now, Chef, explain the, explain the, what is this, the shrimp called again? This is a Mackinac Volcano Shrimp. Volcano, um, so the word volcano tells me it's It's going to have some heat to it, yes. You mind if I try? Not at all, please. I'm going to mess up your board here. Not at all, you're good. Those are good. Are they, are they so super popular? It's, it's picking up pretty, at first it wasn't, but then it started selling pretty well. I mean, we, uh, we brought this on with like a happy hour menu, and then uh, also added it to the regular menu, so this is within the last month, so it's really been starting to pick up some steam. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I had to try. I had to try it, and I will say, there is some spice, and it is super good. This, uh, I know has been difficult for a lot of restaurants. Uh, have you guys been impacted uh, financially uh, with with everything that's been going on the last couple of years? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, COVID, the pandemic, obviously, had a big, big impact on our business. Um, and then after that, um, we're having to deal with a lot of rising food costs and stuff like that. But uh, we try not to sacrifice the quality of our food. You know, we pivot a lot. And thanks to Mike um, making a lot of adjustments to our menus, we try to still keep the food high quality and um, fresh and and uh, you know, a step above like your normal bar food. We like. I'm, I'm sure, though, uh, even as a family business, you guys are still looking for folks to come and help out. Work. Uh, yeah, I mean, staffing is always uh, kind of an issue. You know, thankfully we have an amazing staff uh, that we've had for a while. They've stuck with us through a lot of the tough times. Um, we even have some people that have still been with us uh, since the beginning. So um, thankfully, we have an awesome staff, and we also have a great community that supports us all. Now, I understand you guys sold out of a drink that was really popular over the Halloween weekend. Tell me about what you guys got coming up. Uh, I know you have a bunch out in front of you, but specialty drinks for the holidays. Yeah, so um, Thanksgiving will be coming up at the end of the month, you know, but uh, we'll have fall cocktails then. Uh, we do, right now, we're doing like a lot of pumpkin spice cocktails, uh, things with cinnamon, nutmeg, a nice little good variation. We even have like a fall sangria. And then, uh, of course, we got the seasonal beers that are coming in. Um, the pumpkin beers are moving really well, and we also sell our own beer occasionally. We got our pumpkin ale getting released soon. So, um, and we hope to have another one uh, probably around Christmas time. Give everybody uh, your location. You guys got a great spot with an outdoor deck too. Um, and you're at Gateway, but maybe you can give some landmarks so folks want to come down. So we're right off the Malka exit when you're headed um, towards the North Shore. 
Um, and basically, we're right on the left. Uh, you'll see McDonald's and stuff. We're in the corner, though. We're kind of tucked in a little corner. Um, but we're right in between Wingstop and Navy Federal. There you go. Perfect way to explain it. <laughs> guys, thanks for having me down. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks Somebody for wants in. to get in touch with you guys. Uh, do they got to make reservations? What do they got to do? Uh, so we don't take reservations, but we do appreciate call-aheads for large parties. Uh, you can contact us at 808-626-TAPS. Um, and you can also, for more information, you can visit our website, tapsandapsbrewpub.com. Uh, where we have all our events, our menus, our beer, uh, current draft menu listed, and then you can also visit us on Facebook and Instagram at Taps and Apps Group Club. Thanks, guys. All right, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> Look how big that is. Yeah, let me tell you about how good that Please. was real quick. Ooh, um, maybe, like... I'll, maybe I'll just show you. Oh, that's... <laughs> surprised your mouth can get that wide. Holy cow. And it's juicy. I saw that at the bottom. Mmm. Beautiful. There's the look You're of like, deliciousness. Oh, snap. <laughs> it's amazing. And period, boo. There nice. you go. I've actually been there a few times. Yeah? Yeah. Um, the Kansas City, like, chief fans out here go. And so oh, no um, folks from the National Weather Service, the Ballards, they're big fans. And so I, I've gone with them to that spot. Very and then cool. also caught a drink with my friend Ashley there. We were, I think, we were driving back from the North Shore, and there was, like, a... Uh, Seahawks game and she was we wanted to catch it so we just popped in it's like it's such it's an awesome place go. super good food and awesome drinks yeah. it's a good vibe so Chris yeah is check cool it out too. He, he played uh, he played football with my brother at Punahou so. no no way and I didn't know that until I got there so it's, it's always nice to know and their whole family is running the place so it's great Perfect. chef Mike's awesome yeah a uh, really good stop mm -hmm. yeah really yeah good make stop. sure you check it out